Hi there, you're watching Time Warner Cable's local edition, The Sacramento Report. I'm Jaime Garza here today with Senator Alex Padilla. Alex, always good to have you on, on the show. Hello, Jaime. Good to be back. As I talk to you and many of your colleagues, and we're talking about the budget and we're talking about getting us back on track, jobs is a big, big priority. That's what we hear. We've got to get jobs here. But folks are also saying that we need to create jobs, but we're preventing that. And, and, right. you, and we're talking about taxes here in a way. Uh, absolutely. You know, yeah. short term, our budget realities uh, for years now uh, have been uh, what they are. You know, deficits, 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 and how we close those gaps. Is it through spending cuts in government programs and services, or is it, you know, raising taxes, that, that uh, controversial T word, if you will. But in the long term, everybody agrees, Democrats, Republicans, the best way to, to solve our budget woes is to improve the economy. So how do we invest in industries that are going to expand, going to grow, going to create jobs, get people working, uh, and therefore uh, lead to a more prosperous economy uh, and, a, and a better tax base for, you know, not just government to function, right. but uh, as a reflection of the strength of the California economy. Uh, you know, in the short term, it's tough to talk about incentives or subsidies for key industries, uh, but at times, it, I do think it makes sense if, if we're, uh, as a state, competing with states across the nation and other countries for those very industries and, and the jobs. We're taxing a, a lot of companies on the equipment they buy in order to run. <laughs> that that uh, doesn't make a lot of sense. Yeah, no, California is one of three states in the nation that taxes companies when they purchase manufacturing equipment. Uh, and we know that when a company buys manufacturing equipment, it's not for, for fun, it's not for kicks, it's because they want to expand capacity, maybe uh, uh, become more efficient, hire more people. Uh, and we should be incentivizing those investments in business, not disincentivizing them. Uh, we, we've talked for years about uh, creating that manufacturing tax exemption uh, to be more in line with the other states in the nation. Last year I authored uh, SB 71 uh, in the special session that uh, created that exemption, uh, but specifically in the clean tech industry. You know, Democrats say we can't afford, because of the budget, to give more subsidies away. Republicans think this ought to be done across the board. So we found a consensus uh, in between, at least picking one industry that California is kind of banking on for the future uh, to provide this exemption. And we've already seen a lot of success. Businesses expanding, businesses hiring in these sectors thanks to uh, that incentive uh, and putting people back to work. So you have companies here in the state of California, so you tax them on this equipment. So if you tax them on the equipment, that's money that could have gone maybe into the pockets of 10, 20, 30 more additional workers. Is that how you see it? Exactly. Or a business looking to, seeking to locate, or a business seeking to, you know, expand their capacity. Are they going to locate or expand here in California, or will they set up shop in Nevada, Arizona, Texas, you know, maybe somewhere else. Well, we're seeing already happen quite what a bit. Texas is saying, come on, California, we're, we're stealing away your business. And, and so we're going to try to stem that tide, you know, and I think that clean tech industry is a niche where California really is in a good position to try to capture that. Another one, you know, seeing the success of the legislation last year, this year I have a bill that would provide a similar mechanism for the biotech industry. Again, these are technologies and innovations right. that start here in California. The best minds in San Diego, Los Angeles, the Silicon Valley, uh, coming up with great ideas for the next big thing. But when it comes time to commercialize or manufacture, they go out of state. We're trying to keep those, uh, not just individual jobs here, but entire industries here. In the last few seconds we have left, some people might say, well, there you'll go again, you know, Sacramento trying to help the big guy when we're struggling, I'm the little guy. But that's not really the, 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 the goal here, right? No, no, not, uh, not at all. Actually, the big guys are fighting other tax structure fights. Uh, well, this is talking uh, targeted specifically at the people with that R&D innovation, ready to, uh, you know, make it big in the business world, but they need that, that uh, leg up. Uh, so you're saying outset. expanding, creating jobs, bringing people back T into the, what we did. Taking the ideas to the marketplace. All right, Senator Alex Padilla, thank you so much, and thank, thank you. you at home for watching.